When you dive into an environmental question, you often find energy at the bottom of it. Fish farming is no exception. A sustainable future for seafood will depend on clean energy. Let's cover some basics first. We still harvest a lot of wild seafood. In fact, we're already overfishing a third of wild fish stocks. Since a lot of wild fisheries are maxed out, we're also increasingly farming fish too. Aquaculture, or fish farming, has existed for centuries, but today it's also a major commercial industry. In fact, the majority of seafood produced globally is now from aquaculture, not from the wild. Unfortunately, commercial aquaculture production has taken a toll on the environment. When we farm large volumes of fish in oceans, rivers, and lakes, fish waste and excess feeds freely exchange with the surrounding water, causing pollution problems. Aquaculture can also drive habitat loss. Natural ecosystems are sometimes cleared to make way for fish farms. A well-known example of this has been shrimp farming in Southeast Asia, which has often come at the expense of mangrove forests. The problem essentially lies in combining intensive fish farming with sensitive natural environments. To resolve this dilemma, experts generally point to two main strategies, and they both require more energy. The first option is to remove aquaculture from natural bodies of water entirely, raising fish in tanks indoors. These systems allow for total control over water quality, and can treat and recycle water to minimize water use. However, heating and recycling water in an indoor environment takes a lot of energy. So although these systems limit pollution, they demand more energy. The second option is to move fish farms offshore into the open ocean. The issue is that today, most marine aquaculture takes place along coastlines, where fish farms are in close proximity to more biodiverse and sensitive ecosystems. Moving fish farms further offshore allows deeper water and stronger currents to dilute the waste and means aquaculture doesn't have to compete for space in coastal areas. However, farming fish in the open ocean means longer boat trips for maintenance or more energy to run automated equipment. Again, the trade-off is more energy use in exchange for fewer habitat and pollution problems. Unfortunately, today our energy use remains largely tied to greenhouse gas emissions. That means that indoor and offshore fish farming would, in many places, solve local environmental problems but increase emissions. That trade-off is a reminder why cheap, zero-carbon energy is so essential to solving today's environmental problems. We won't have a sustainable future for seafood without clean energy. To learn more about sustainable aquaculture and other food production issues, check out our Future of Food series at www.thebreakthrough.org.